Hello, and welcome to Primal Fear, another game made by Alex X, the creator of the tape. I probably should have mentioned from the last game that was the first game Alex X had apparently created. This is the second game. And I immediately forgot about the map, but oh well. <laughs> yeah, there's actually a map down here, but uh, you should really wake up. Whatever. You'll find yourself in a dark underground room. With no idea how you got there, you hear the sound of water dripping, and as well as the sound of rodents running by. Suddenly, you feel a sharp sting in your left foot! The pain quickly becomes unbearable and you grunt loudly and flinch! What voice do I want to do? That's the real question. <laughs> what is this pain?! Ah. It seems that a rodent had just struck his Unhygienic teeth into the muscle of your left foot. You're lucky and moved away after you flinch. As you are done dealing with the rat, you notice that the atmosphere in the room is rather disturbing. On the uneven brick walls, you can see some sort of marking that what seems to be resembling human blood. The mark is on the wall, said. Nose, many fangs. Don't make a noise, and they listen. Doors locked. Well, I want to kick it. And go for the tunnel. As you walk into the tunnel, you notice the hole is barely passable, but somehow you manage to go through. You find yourself in another room. This one looks a little less scary than the Yet it's as simple. It is as much as dark. Knows the door of this room is slightly open. Now, because I don't have the map, I'll have to figure out by using paint.net. So, actually, I'm gonna be opening paint.net. So. Okay, uh. Oh, I should take a screenshot of my map when I'm done with this game. map does not fit this. I have to remake my map. There's a door somewhere, I just don't know where. Suddenly, you find yourself in a long hallway that is just barely lighted up with torches. The walls and ceilings are made out of stone. East, you see a giant door, but it seems to be the exit. West, you see darkness, but any torches lighting up. If you look closer, you can see two red eyes look at you from the shadow. Two red eyes, huh? As you walk to the giant door, you discover a second hallway that leads north. Oh, really? Oh gosh, I forgot. Um, let's go north. As you walk through the passage, you notice a wooden door beside you. On the end of the passage, you see a lighted up area. As you walk in, the disturbing sight is unveiled in front of you. You see people 
with everything from the lower part of the item I'm missing. Hanging from the ceiling, my chains with their hands cuffed, the horrible room contained tools such as saws, surgical knives, and surgical clamps. In the room, you can also find a dissection tables with human remains on them. The table with a child missing half of his head is sickening you the most. As you continue to wander the room, something in you tells you to touch the hanging bodies. And I say no. As you leave the room, you became less nauseous. There was a lined up area at the end of the passage that you didn't explore yet. Go to the light. You see a na you see a non-humanoid figure crossing the intersection of the area you were headed. The monster seems to be walking from the east to the west side of the line up area. As you see the monster, the cold sweat runs down your body. There's a strong feeling inside you that says, Run for your life! You are at an intersection in the long hallway on the east. You are at an intersection in the long hallway. On the east of the hallway, you see a door. On the west side of the hallway, you see darkness. Many torches lined up. If you look closer, you can see. There is an open door in front of you. The door is locked. After you kick the door, you hear the sound of dashing footsteps come towards you. As you turn around, you notice a creature dashing at you, shocked. Without time to react, the monster shrieks and plunges his teeth into your face, devouring you while you scream in pain. You are dead. Dang. Well, it's time for attempt number two. You find yourself in a dark underground room with no idea how you got there. You hear the sound of water ripping as well as the sound of bullets running by. Suddenly, you feel a sharp sting in your left foot. The pain quickly becomes unbearable and you grunt loudly and flinch. What is this pain? It seems that a rodent has just struck his unhygienic teeth into the muscle of your left foot. You are lucky you moved away after you flinch. As you are done dealing with the rat, you notice that the atmosphere of the room is rather disturbing. On the other you break walls, you see some I know that one. As you walk into the tunnel, you notice the hole is barely passable, but somehow you manage to go through it. You find yourself in another room. This one is a little scary, and is as much dark as dark. You notice the door is Suddenly, you find yourself in a long hallway that is barely lighted up with torches. The walls and ceiling are made of stone. East, you see a giant wooden door that seems to be the exit. West, you see darkness without any torches light up. If you look closer, you can see two red eyes that go. Alright, let's go west. As you walk through the shadow, your stomach began to turn a cold sweat runs on your neck. The center of the shadow keeps staring right through the essence of your soul. You feel that every step you make is another mistake. Keep going. At the end of the hallway, a figure red eyes stands and gazes upon you. The primal fear is struck deep within you. You become paralyzed. At a couple of seconds, you see the teeth of the creature forming a white sinister smile. The monster speaks. Will you succumb to mortal fear? That is the question you ask yourself. After the being uttered the strange words, you build some courage to speak. What does that mean? As he asks the creature a question, but he doesn't reply. He just stands there, menacingly watching you with his two bright eyes. You find yourself in a long hallway that's just barely light up with torches. But we already see all this, so let's go east. You got a giant door, yeah? There is a door in front of you. The door is locked. Go west. 
As you walk into the passage, you notice a wooden door beside you. You see an odd humanoid figure crossing the intersection of the area you are headed in. The monster seems to be walking to the east or the west side, like as you see the monster. Kota? Say so. As you stay still, the monster passes to the west side of the lineup area without noticing you. As the monster passed, you were free to go. Dang it! That was the right choice! Light up area. The area you entered seems to be another hallway. The first thing you notice are the blood stains on the walls. Among the stains, you see multiple bloody scratches leading to the west side of the hallway. You also see a steel door at the east side of the passage, on the opposite side where the monster was headed. Uh, okay, so make this difficult, eh? What was west? see what's west, but I do see what's at north. A steel door. I gotta make some corrections in this thing. I gotta remake the wooden door. Ah, brown would be fine. And I gotta turn the room back to red. Not back to red, but Uh, that's, oh well, I'm, pfft, I'm not gonna be able to accomplish my goal there. Anyways, uh, go west. As you walk to the west, the hallway keeps getting darker and more bloody. With a couple of meters, you notice human remains on the floor. Something terribly wrong. It's not too late to go back. Let's go back. Go to the steel door. You find yourself around a steel door. Success. The steel door is unlocked. The room that you entered seems to be a key room. You find a board with various keys hanging on the wall. You're unsure whether you should search slowly, because the monster may come back. Okay, so there's a room up here. It's starting to look like the map I saw. Search slowly. You find a key of a tag exit door. Right yourself in the intersection. South is the north hall. At least at the exit door. The west is the place where blade marks lead to. <sighs> you are back in the dark hallway where you first encountered the walking monster. At the center of the corridor lies a wooden door. And south is at the intersection that leads to the exit door. <sighs> south. You are at the intersection of the torch hallway. East of you lies the exit door. On the west side of you there is a dark space. There is a door in front of you. The exit door is unlocked. As you exit the door, you find yourself in a deep forest. It seems that you just got out of the big mountain cliff that is now looking right at your back. After walking through the deep forest, you see a road that guides you to civilization. You survived. As you leave, you get up wondering if there are others that succeeded leaving that place long before you. Play again, or give it to someone else to see if they share the same luck as you. Let me think about that. Like, do I wanna... There's some things I haven't done yet. Another time, another victim. Alright, we woke up. What happened if we kick... No results. As a non human figure appear in front of you, you say paralyzed with fear as the monster thrusts his teeth to your neck, biting off the flesh of your neck. In agony, your vision turns black and darkness overwhelms you. You are dead. Right. Let's kick the giant door. As you kick the door, you hear the sound of footsteps coming from the back. 
As you turn around, you notice a creature is standing in front of you. Shocked, without time to react, monster shrieks and dashes towards you, fighting off your head. I'm dead. seem to be alive, but it's only a matter of time before life leaves them. As you say, still the monster passes. Yep. I bet it's sealed door. It's advance. You keep going further down the dark hallway. Suddenly you trip over a woman's leg and fall down. After getting up, you notice numerous sets of eyes staring at you from the shadow. It is too late to go back. Countless monsters come swarming at you, ripping off every part of your body. You are dead. Is there anything else? Is there anything else? Is there anything else? Search fast. The keys fall down and produce a loud noise to search them. On the ground you pick up the key to you leave the room, you notice a non-humanoid creature standing in front of you. You quickly try to go back inside the key room, you just came out. But you're not fast enough. The monster plunges its teeth into your left shoulder, ripping a part of your flesh. As you fall down on the floor, you stay there helplessly as the creature rips you apart. Now I think that might be it. I don't I don't get what else there is to do. Now I'm I'm ready to show you how I have my map, but it's not it's not completed. Let me let me show you. Here's my map that I got. So we I got the main room, then we go through the tunnel, we go in this room, then we exit. The west is there, then the east there is the giant door, I should put a line. Giant door, unknown origin, what's through there? Here I made the wooden door brown, and I forgot to add the room. I'm going to do dark maroon, because that's what's in there. Up here is a lighted area. I would think, probably. Oh. There's east. And this, well, this is just, this is just nothing. It's just black. And, um, actually, I have no idea where the exit door is. It's probably, uh, okay, the exit door is probably down here, I would have to say. This is probably where the exit door is at. Yeah, this this is a very great door. Trust me. <laughs> and now I'm gonna. Comp now I'm gonna compare it with this map I have over here. So let this is the map from Alex X. Hold on, I have to do this whole other process. Okay, this is Alex X's map. Ah, uh, the cell is probably where we came from. Less creepy rooms, number one. Shadows that way. There's an intersection. There's a giant door. Went up here. Wooden. Then this room. This is the lighted up area. But wait, didn't it go west? Ah, uh, this is apparently the dark, bloody hall, and then that's the key room. Disturbing room is number what? Oh. Horror room is there in key, yeah. But now I have a problem with. Oh, no, wait. Giant door is exit door. Huh. So, how well did I do this? Not that well. 
I didn't know it was just straight across, and I didn't know the giant door is also the exit door. Eh, fine enough. Well, that's it for, um, that game that I'm forgetting the name of. Uh, Primal Fear. Bye, and have a fun time.